Once again, the Nissan Micra is a very class-competitive, characterful Super Mini. This time it's stylish and very good to drive, while setting a high standard with its sense of safety. You know that car in this class you were thinking of? Stack it up against this one. One of the reasons that Nissan has been so freed up to develop other aspects of this Micra is that it hasn't had to worry much about the oily bits. Uh, as with the basic platform of this car, those come directly from Renault's fourth generation Clio, uh, with most buyers likely to select between the pair of three-cylinder petrol engines on offer. Uh, there's a 71 PS one litre normally aspirated unit, but which urge you to try and stretch to the preferable 0.9 litre IGT90 turbo power plant we've been trying here. That's a variant that mixes peppier performance uh, with more acceptable economy. So expect 64.2 mpg on the combined cycle and 99 grams per kilometre of CO2. If you need to do better than that, there is a 1.5 litre DCI diesel variant which also puts out 90 PS, but which will only really make sense if you cover a higher annual mileage than is typical for this class of car. Now what certainly isn't typical in this segment is the level of electronic sophistication that this Micra delivers as standard. All models get Nissan's chassis control package incorporating active trace control which helps corner turn in and active ride control which calms the body pitching that you'd normally get over the sharper bumps. Both systems use uh, automatic and very subtle brake application and they give a more fluid flowing feel to the way this Micra progresses down the road. The rather firm suspension can't quite complement this and we would like a little more feel at speed from the steering but otherwise, well, we're impressed with the drive dynamics on offer here. In this class, only Ford's Fiesta is more fun to punt along. So, in short, it's all a huge step forward from anything the Micra model line has ever served up before. If you're used to the conservative design of the uh, old fourth generation Micra, well, you might need to sit down and have a cup of hot sweet tea after looking at this one. Expressive and emotive, this is the kind of shape you'd more readily associate with a motor show concept car than a production model, with an athletic silhouette that's much longer, lower and wider than was offered before. So, time to take a seat in the front and look around this cabin. And this is an area in which previous micro customers will be seeking the most improvement. Now, sure enough, things have been much enhanced over what went before. Uh, the fascia is based around what Nissan calls a gliding wing dashboard layout, which feels of much higher quality and which can be personalised with uh, colour-coded versions of this centre panel. Through this D-shaped multifunction steering wheel, the instrument cluster is uh, very much as you'd find on a more expensive Qashqai crossover model. And then this five inch TFT screen can either be set to show everything from navigation to performance data, or it can be used to customize many of the car's electronic systems. Anything this monitor can't tell you will probably be covered off by the seven inch center dash infotainment touchscreen that you get providing you avoid that entry trim level. Probably the extra technology helps to influence the greater perception of quality this time around. And our favourite touch here is the optional Bose personal premium audio system, which comes with two speakers actually built into the driver's headrest. So let's take a seat in the rear. Now because of this swept back styling, we didn't expect the kind of space back here that might be offered by a boxier looking rival like say a Skoda Fabia or a Honda Jazz. Fortunately, as Nissan knows perfectly well, most super mini buyers use these pews primarily for children and they'll be more than satisfied with what's on offer here. Shoulder width, well that's also fine uh, for two, thanks to the extra 78 millimeters of width that this car enjoys over its predecessor. So finally, let's take a look in the boot. Uh, with the rear seats in place, this Nissan offers 300 litres of cargo accommodation. Uh, that's good, but it's nowhere near class leading. Still, the luggage area provided here is properly shaped to accommodate something like a fold-up buggy or the weekly shop. Of course, as usual, you can extend the cabin available by using this 60-40 split-folding rear backrest. What that all leaves us with is a car that ought to appeal way beyond the core market that Micra has always previously targeted. Cash-strapped parents, driving instructors and motorists of a certain age. 
In our view, it's everything a thoroughly modern supermini should be. Stylish, sophisticated and cheap to run. In short, we urge you to approach this micro with a fresh perspective. After all, Nissan certainly did.